Seven Questions with Stephen Brad. Seven Questions with Stephen Brad. It's another episode of Seven Questions with Stephen Brad. Seven Questions, and we truly do have an amazing guest today. You remember him as Stone Cates, but we know him as Michael Sutton. What's going on, brother? Hey, no, dude. Hey, bro. you. How are you guys? All right. We're doing amazing. Good We're good. We're good. Thank it's the holiday. You. It's you as it's well. the holiday season, and what a what a gift it is to have you with us. It is. Thanks, brother. What is your favorite and least favorite sign that it's the holiday season? Oh God, uh, holiday sweaters. <laughs> holiday, yeah, the ugly okay. holiday sweaters. When they start coming out, you're like, oh, bad fashion. Bad what fashion. Yes. People? Bad fashion. What yeah, happens yeah. to people on the holiday season? Why does it have to be bad fashion? It's a vacuum. They go into some (laughs) sort of fog. Yeah, there's like this sentimentality around. I think everyone tries to recreate their favorite rendition of the holidays. And usually that's like your childhood favorite. So like, and if if you grew up in the 70s or 80s and you start dressing like you were back in the 70s or 80s, it's not going to go well. (laughs) No, no, never does. So what is it this year? Is it exciting or is it all really? Um, This year it's... Uh, it's exciting because I think we want the year to be over. So let's get to the holidays and get past it and get to the years. And, yeah. Right, 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 right. Totally. What a year. Awful year. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Dude. 2020. Bye bye. Have you ever regrown that luscious, amazing, beautiful <laughs> mane that you had in the 90s? I did. About two years ago, I grew it back to about here Woo! and I put it up in a bun. No, no, I take that back. I did grow it back out really long when I was rocking the club scene and I loved it. Ah, okay, And great. then I grew it out a year and a half ago and I was like, I'm not that guy anymore. And I cut it off. <laughs> it's just, it, it didn't age well with me. Yeah. If well, you did the, if you did the man bun, gotta go. No, no. Gotta go. I did, by the way, when I was doing clubs, I put it up in a man bun for a while and I could pull it off back then because the music and the alcohol. Sure. And maybe the alcohol. <laughs> the alcohol. <laughs> That's right. People, whenever people saw it, it was slightly blurry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if, they saw the, if they saw the bun go up, they knew that we were at that stage of the night that things were popping. It was, it was a good place in the night if the bun came up. That means. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I love that. What would you say is the worst movie you've ever seen? Um. I, I think it was one that I was in. You don't say. I, I, I took my family to the premiere and um, I can't even remember the name. The film made no sense. I was sitting there watching going, what did they just do? And uh, it was called American Intellectuals. So oh. I don't even know if you can find it. <laughs> that's, ir- that's ironic. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, that's wow. ironic. Uh, wow. That, yeah. Okay. Wow. All right. Good to know. Yeah, no, I think uh, I've been in some... Uh, a couple independent clunkers too. I so, think we uh, all have been. Michael Sutton, what's your favorite thing about Los Angeles? Ooh, that it's so diversified. I mean, literally, I, I'll drive and go to like K Town or I go to uh, Little Tokyo and uh, the food, just mm-hmm. getting the element and culturally going all over the city. I love that about LA. It's so diverse. Awesome. Have you ever lived anywhere else? Uh, no, I, I, I was frequent in New York for a while, um, uh, in like 1999, 2000, like spent a lot of time there, maybe half and half. And then for about 10 years, my mom got remarried and was in Alpine, New Jersey and New York for a while. So I was back and forth there a lot, but sure. always LA. La La yeah. Land. So of all the businesses and, in, in, you know, industries that you've been a part of, has there been one that is that you've connected to in a way that, you know, more than others. I really like the, the nightlife industry. Um, yeah. There's something about it that, yeah, with, with acting, it's like, I could never be the one to brag. E- even if I liked what I did, I would never be the one to say I'm an actor or I'm the best actor on this. Sure. When it was the nightlife and the promoting. There was that street cred that you could say, no, nah, I've got the best club or I've got <laughs> the best clientele or I've got, you wanted to share that and and I'm not braggadocious by nature. So I think I had a lot of fun in that, in that industry. So uh, for all of you watching, you may not know that after General Hospital, Michael Sutton was one of the biggest club promoters in Hollywood. Uh, so my question is, Michael, what time did you go to bed and what time did you get up? Oh, my God. So let me qualify that by saying I had 
a party that started at midnight and went till 5 a.m. And when I sent out the invitation, people called me and said, oh, Mike, you made a mistake on your invite. You mean 12 p.m.? To, and I'm like, no, no, starting at midnight, going till 5 a.m. And the party and club was called Exini. And it was like sort of a Soho House private membership. You paid a lot of money every month. And we did sound stages around the city that uh, we fed them unlimited alcohol. I mean, we had Mickey Rourke and, and uh, Axl Rose. And I mean, you name it. It was like the place to be. And it was from midnight till 5 a.m. So imagine smoking wow. a cigar with Mickey Work and Axel Rose at 5.30 in the morning, completely bombed. You can imagine the stories that were being told. And those are the things that, you know, you can't put a price tag on. That's why. It was like <laughs> no. <super> cool. <laughs> no, you can't. That's amazing, dude. But when you, were, yeah. when you were promoting the clubs, what time did you usually end up going to bed? 4 a.m. at least. 4 because by the time you got done shutting down with the club and dealing with the paperwork and finances. Yeah. And then you had your after party with whoever was hanging out with you that night. Sure. And, sure. And you know, whatever else, I mean, the party just, it kept going. So I, yes, I was did. that guy for a, a many a year. Have you ever bungee jumped? Um, yes. And I've, I've, I've uh, jumped out of a plane before as well. Cause wow. wasn't, wasn't stones thing bungee jumping. Yeah, it was like a bucket list. So right. with the yes. storyline, they had a thing of what he wanted to do before he knew he was dying. Um, bungee jumping was one of them. And I think it was uh, Luke and, 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 and Rob, and it was Tony Geary and Kimberly. And we go up on a, some, I don't know, bridge, and we jumped off of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's that wasn't awesome. real. No, 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 no. no. It wasn't so, real. But you, you in your real life have. Yes, I've, I've, I've. I, and I jumped out of the plane. Sky dive, yeah. Another person, a professional, is strapped on with you. Yeah. But, sure. You know, you tandem, you dive, and you know. What that, did you like better? That was like, wow. I, I, uh, oh, jumping out of a plane. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You, yeah. you feel That's like you're awesome. floating. So the second you get out of the plane, it's like a cloud. It's not like this woo where you get. Right. It's not even like a roller coaster. You don't even lose like your stomach. You know how you like a roller coaster. Yeah, you don't get that woo. Out? Right. None of that. None of that. Wow. It's, it's beautiful. How many times have you appeared as a ghost on General Hospital? Um, three. 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 There's the, well, there's we, the did, magic we did a series of like three or four days where the character just died. And that's when I was like, when do you got to let Stone die? Ah, yeah. And then they changed that off. And then uh, two separate times I've come back once for uh, Robin and once for Sonny. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Michael well, Sutton, ladies and gentlemen, Michael seven Sutton, questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Michael, thank you, dude. Guys. Soon. Yeah. This is amazing, brother. Thank you awesome. so much for your time. Great buddy. to catch up with you guys. Best you of luck to you, too. Thank you, buddy. Right. Thanks, dude. Hope Happy to see holidays. You, soon. you too, buddy. Awesome. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. 